Norwich just couldn't really turn up or show up with anything here today, defensively, offensively, in every single sort of manner. But I did want, I did want to talk about a player that wasn't in the picture here today, Dara, in the form of Todd Cow. Cantwell because he was mentioned in the pre-match press conference and Daniel Farker basically just brushed it aside to say, okay, he's not even a topic today. He's, he's, he's missed a lot of training sessions. We understand that from the official website that it is due to personal problems. But is there more to the story than that? Because we understand there's also a contract issue with Todd Cantwell. Yeah, I actually spoke to Todd Cantwell yesterday and uh, his granddad's been sick two or three weeks ago. So... That was the start of it. Whether after after that he's been, you know, working hard enough in training or not, I don't know. But the situation with contract is, I think Norwich have got a year extension anyway, so it's not like he's out of contract at the end of the season. But let's face it, looking at that, we need a player of top. Let's face it, looking at that, we need a player of top Campbell's ability to, be able to get back with the manager because Norwich City need him if he's going to, you know, if they're going to get any points this season, they need all the best players. And Todd Campbell is what he's proven in the Premier League he can get goals. So it's up to Todd Cowell and the manager to sort something out because the Norwich squad isn't good enough to be missing a player like Todd Cowell. Yeah, because the, the last time that they were relegated, Darren, I mean, there was a lot of talk about particular players in the squad, the likes of Max Aarons, Todd Cowell, you know, being picked up by other Premier League clubs or, or, or top flight clubs. Are you surprised that he actually stayed with Norwich City? No, I'm not surprised. I think, I think he, he, did, he had a good season in the Championship, but last time they were in the Premier League, all of them struggled, so it's not like they ripped the Premier League apart. But it's going to be very interesting come January because if we are in this position come, come the transfer window, there will be people looking at Max Aarons and Todd Campbell, and the club might decide just to take the money because if you know you're going down, you know, their, their value is going to go down if you're in the Championship. So it's going to be very interesting what happens come January. What clubs would be looking at the likes of Max Aarons and Todd Gary? I mean, who needs their services? Well, I think it's a I think it's a great question in many ways um, because although they are talented players who've gained promotion, got relegated, gained promotion again, they haven't proved that they can play consistently in the top flight. Um, okay, so if you if you leave Norwich City, who I think will get relegated at the end of this season, if you leave a relegated side, you're going to go in effect to a better side because they've stayed in the Premier League. You're going to go to a side that has better players. Um, and of course, to be successful, you need better players around you. You need to be a, a bigger and a better club. But I think as much as a lot of clubs were looking at them, and the last time Norwich were in the Premier League, I, I, I thought that Cantwell and Wendia did really well for Norwich City. And I think they both did really well last season in the um, Championship. Um, you, ha you have a look at Buendia, who Aston Villa have taken, and OK, there's a transition period, but he is struggling to settle in and actually be productive at Aston Villa. So although there will be a lot of clubs looking at those two players, or Cantwell in particular, Max Aarons in particular, um, it would still be a big gamble if you took them to a, an established Premier League side. Um, so to answer your question, Michelle, I honestly don't know who would take the, and I have to call it this, the gamble of signing either of them, unless Darren can uh, add a little bit more to that. Well, I, I, I do think people will be looking at them, but it's all going to be down to the price, isn't it? If, if Norwich want stupid money, then they'll end up staying where they are. Because, like you just said, they're not proven at Premier League level. And... If you're saying you're Max Aarons and you're you're in a team that's shipped 25 goals in the first quarter of the season, you know that's not not, not the the best thing in the world, is it? So it's going to be very interesting to see what the club do, whether they take the money or try and build for next season. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, you got to look at clubs like Newcastle United, who has an open checkbook at the minute, it seems. But uh, Darren, come in on the season, all things considered, do you see Todd, Todd Kentwell staying in Norwich City come end of the season? I honestly don't know. I, I, it all depends where the club want to be and if they're just thinking they're going to you know, sell, the, sell the best players and then build again next season. It looks at the minute that we, we can't compete at Premier League level. So the, the club will have some big decisions, especially with uh, Todd Campbell and Max Harrens, whether they feel that it's best to, to uh, get the money from now and just build, you know, build for next season. 
Well, just one final one from me then before I let both of you go, Darren. I mean, at this state, at this point in time, just after the, the demolition of Norwich City at the moment, what are your hopes for them staying up of the Premier League this season? Well, after watching that, they, there's no hope of them staying up this season. But what they've got to do, they, they can't be an embarrassment because that's a, that's a big thing. The, the fans will be fuming today and they'll want their team just to compete at this level. And they don't want to, you know, top off. They'll want their team to compete. And at the minute, we're miles off that. Well, well question marks will be asked about Daniel Farker because he's, he's done so well for Norwich City, always bringing them up after a, a season down in the championship. But maybe are there questions as per what he can achieve, his ceiling for Norwich City? I think football is probably the, the most results business anyway. So you're judged on what you do on the pitch. And at the minute, Norwich City are miles off it, miles off Premier League level. So there'll be questions asked. The next few games are really important. We've got people that are around us, so Leeds, Southampton, Brentford. If you don't get points against them, you know, it's, it, it's, something's going to have to change. The, the, question, the, the question that Norwich City need to ask themselves, and this is, I'm talking at board level, at director of football level, is could another coach do a better job than uh, Daniel Farke is doing at this precise moment in time? Um, and then you have to say, well, actually, if you, if you say yes, there is, and, and you would like to think that you know, Jurgen Klopp would do a better job, Pep Guardiola would do a better job, um, as two examples, OK? Um, can you get them? Well, the answer to that question is no, you can't. OK, so let's look at coaches who we could maybe get. Can they do a better job? And suddenly that field really narrows down. And even if you think there is one, it's still a huge gamble because there is no guarantee. And you know, when, you, when you look at it, the current Norwich coach has brought them into the Premier League, has got them relegated, has brought them back into the Premier League, um, and I don't think he'll keep them there. Um, so, so how do you change that? Um, I don't think Norwich will throw a shed load of money at players and they, they spent, I think, you know, in excess of 30 million in the summer, although they recouped it all on one player, Buendia, going to, to Aston Villa. Um, but, you know, I don't see them throwing a shed load of money at it. And even if they did, that doesn't guarantee that you're going to get the players in that will, will keep you there. I think it's a real conundrum. And I think as the bigger clubs in the Premier League get bigger, which they clearly are, and... You know, there's more and more money piling in at the top end of the league. It does become more and more difficult to bridge that gap from the championship into the Premier League. You know, have a look at Sheffield United two seasons ago. Were fantastic in their first season back in the Premier League. Their second season, they got relegated. Um, it's a really, really tough league and a tough business. And, and I don't know about you, Darren, but I actually think that Norwich at this precise moment in time are your um, perfect description of a yo-yo club. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what they are. They're a yo-yo club, and you just said about Sheffield, Sheffield United. I think people like Chris Wilder, Eddie Howe, they'll be the, probably the managers that some, someone like Norwich would look at. But they're, they're not guaranteed. They both got relegated last season. So it's really difficult for Norwich. We're in a real difficult situation where do they chuck loads of money at it? I can't see that. Or do they stick with what they got? But if you stick, stick to what you've got, you've still got to be better than what's on the pitch and what we've shown today. So, interesting times. But, but Darren, I, I just want to echo what, what Gary mentioned just now, which I thought was quite interesting. The question is whether another manager can do a better job with this Norwich City squad. I don't know what you think about that idea and whether maybe Norwich need to get a manager that's a bit more pragmatic, that, that knows how to get results. I mean, there, there are so many managers who are survival specialists, so to speak. Like, like you think of Sam Allardyce of that sort, do they need to go in that direction instead? I, I can't imagine the fans being happy with a, a Sam Allardyce or something like that, but it might change the fortunes of the club for the next two or three months. The problem you've got is what type of football they're going to play. Is it, is it just about staying up? We might, even if whoever you get in, we might not have the quality to stay up anyway. So it's, it's, a, it's a tough ask. Really. It's, it's, it's tough to know what, which way they're going to go.